today is our one year wedding anniversary. Uh, Eric planned the entire day out and it's all a secret, uh, it's all a surprise for me. So we're currently in New York on our way to a mystery destination. Um, and part of the mystery and the surprise secretness of today, uh, Eric is trying to throw me off a scent by faking us go to Canada and asking for my passport, which I did not bring, um, and pretending that we were going there for like 20 minutes. Oh. Have to save yourself. I'm driving. And the surprise destination was Six Flags Darien Lake. So here is a map of the park. Looks like they have some coasters, a water park, uh, and a lodge on the lake and some cabins in the back. Darien Lake is located near Buffalo, New York. One day admission is $49.99 before tax. It does include admission into their water park, Hurricane Harbor, but parking is an additional $20. It's currently Sunday and the park is open from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. It looks like they also have convert to cash here. Yeah, they only accept card payments. restaurant over here at Lakeside Boardwalk. This one on Predator right here. It is a rough ride, except for the tiny section right here that did get retracked. It's nice and smooth. Uh, the seats do have a lot of cushion, so that really helps with being jerked around, um, but that doesn't help with your insides kind of getting jerked around. It does have a nice view of the lake and the park as a whole though. Joe's Eatery over here. Some chicken, pulled pork, wraps, and popcorn. Ride of Steel is currently down. Um, and they do have lockers over here. Whereas when we were on the last ride, Predator, uh, they don't have lockers, they don't have little cubbies or anything. You gotta just throw your, si your stuff to the exit side of the platform. Um, I just kind of leave it there, but they all, they were running just uh, one car ops today on Friday there. Here's Eric's favorite game to watch, the three point shootout, with a beautiful backdrop of Darien Lake. So if you're staying at what you said, the lodge or the cabin? The campground. The campground, this is your park entrance. Um, and the lodges right now, at least on the weekend or in general, has two night minimums. I think it might be also on there. <laughs> the Darien Lake Sharp. Is it that thing right there? Yeah. Bunch of 
This is Boomerang. So I guess that's where a music venue is, so that's kind of fun. Right? So I think that's where the music venue is. Maybe that's why it's like faded off. So just ran. We just ran. Uh, <laughs> we, just ran. we just rode a uh, front row of Boomerang. Your thoughts? This might be the best Boomerang I've ever been on. I don't like Boomerangs. It was pretty smooth, actually. Yeah, it was smooth. The seats are just generally uncomfortable, or at least like for me, because yeah. of like hard over the shoulder straps are like painful. So yeah, especially the way it kind of makes your like body Hurt. sit. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, you liked it. Oh, compared to what I was expecting, it's fantastic. <laughs> so I don't know what this place is yet, but it smells really good. Frank and Teresa's. Anchor Bar, established in 1935. And they do have mobile food ordering here on their app. Looks like they have Anchor Bites, Buffalo Chicken Sandwich, Buffalo Chicken Wrap, some chicken wings, salads, and sides. Motor coaster. It basically looks like um from Pandora. Yeah. And I wonder if this is gonna be similar to how Tron's gonna be. What? How, well, I mean like the ride vehicles for Tron. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Just went on motor coaster. Um, it's an interesting experience, I think, a lot because of the ride vehicle, uh, kind of being pushed forward in your seat a lot on like your stomach, abdomen area. Um, but it's interesting because when they kind of like launch you forward, you get shoved against your back, and then after that, everything's kind of like more pressure on like your abdomen area. Um, definitely interesting um, and different. Uh, not sure I want to go on it again, but uh, something cool to experience. So the fencing over here is super strange and very confusing. <laughs> like I don't think you can get to that shop anymore. So it looks like it's just restrooms over here. And I have no idea how you get to the Beaver Brother Lakeside Cafe. So I'm wondering if this is all just like for the like log camp, camp yeah, something. like the campsite, the resort stuff. And it maybe used to be open to the park and then they like blocked it off just for that. Cause they have like a pizza place over there, a flagpole. So maybe this is like some kind of store for them. Not quite sure.
but I think this is all for like the campground. Yeah, it's like, oh. I, I guess this isn't a retail. Yeah. Yeah, because there's like the camp lounge, outfitters, an arcade. Got some Prospector's Pizza. What? House blend French vanilla mocha vanilla hazelnut. That's weird. Some walking tacos, burritos, nachos over here. At Tres Hombres Tacos. Darien Lake out here. There's like half as many people here, quarter as many people here. And they got more places open for food than Cedar Point. <laughs> You're not wrong. Is this the Viper? Yes. So we just went on front row of Viper. What do you think? I liked it. I really liked it. Uh, the ride vehicles had very nice deep buckets. Uh, front row had a lot of leg room. It's pretty smooth for its age. Aero loopers are sick. Keep them around. Yeah, no, it was really nice and smooth. Really nice ride. We got campfire pizza, chicken strips, hot dogs, fries. Beer and pizzas. It changes so fast, I can't read it. So, this is what we got. Um, we got, it ended up being a pizza combo for those two. Um, and then we also got an additional slice and a drink. Um, the menu they were saying that was on there ended up being from last year's. Um, so, the one. I guess the combo was $11.99, so that's those two. This cheese pizza was $9.99, and the drink was $5.99. So the tax, all of this was $30. Um, kind of pricey, but uh, you know, you're at the park. Okay, we have a saloon, Busted Barrel Saloon. They have different craft beers, including Blue Light, Bud Light. Trulies, Jack and Cola, previous site, you kind of see remnants of like a log right here, kind of where 
the edge of it might be. And then this is all gravel and kind of barren over here. Uh, the tantrum was super fun. It was very short, incredibly smooth. Um, just a fun ride. They had two vehicles uh, riding on this one, so it made it super quick. Uh, loading on, and they do have a little cubby to put your bags. what the name of this ride is, but it looks like it's not operating for this season. This park is very spread out. It's interesting how much land the park really occupies, or possibly we're just too fed and used to Cedar Point and Kings Island that are so filled with amazing rides that it seems weird being somewhere so sparse. Front road of mine eraser. What did you think? It hurt. <laughs> uh, yours hurt your shoulder. Mine hurt my ears from like hitting the uh, safety restraints. restraints. Um, and then also my crotch kind of hurts from like running into the ride restraint. It also needs some new paint job. I mean, that's like Pretty a lot bad. of stuff here. Everything kind of needs a paint job. Uh, just a lot of upkeep that kind of just isn't happening. Um, it just looks very run down like as a park and hole. Here are some more remnants of the log plume ride. I like that you can see how Darien Lake is newer than the Trading Coast on. They do have your fuel rods here. You can still get it. Fright Fest though? I mean, I guess it works that there is not a year on it, so they can just kind of keep selling it. Oh, you can get a Halloween version. So they have zero shows right now. This is the Grand Theater, world renowned shows, uh, but none right now. And we have Crossroads Cafe, chicken strips, Italian sausage, french fries, fountain drinks, and beer.
I almost feel like this is just like a bunch of clearance stuff. I almost just feel like it's a bunch of clearance stuff. Because they're just in like so many different styles. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. You can get two tees for $20.